Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We're heading deeper into Ark territory. I've taken out many of the people on this upper floor, although there's still... Yeah, one more over there. But there's still a whole lower floor to do as well. And I also haven't taken out the security cameras or anything like that, so let's keep on moving through here. I'm not bothering to really loot anything, just taking people out that I'm going to loot. Really want to find a security room. So many cameras around here. Going to need new microphones. Actually, running through a lot of bio cells. I should buy some next time I find a uh, someone who sells them. I could also just craft him. Ooh, those might be security computers. It's often the case when there's two of them close together. That is so fun to do. I guess it was not. Over. <laughs> Nothing at all. Security computer? Wait, I thought there was another computer. I think I want to make a distraction in here. Is there something I can throw? Don't tell me to be cautious, Wolf. I'm pretty sure I threw something. Come on. Ah! How close might I the next level? Not that far away. Oh, I still want to do the, the double takedown. Once I get another Braxis, I can get it. This is the fourth one this week. They locked the doors this time, so I can't listen in. 
But they're definitely still talking about this Operation Storm Surge, whatever it is. We should be in those meetings. I mean, who are these fucking guys? Marchenko just recruiting his friends now? They're not even on the roster. You know he's been sneaking into Prague with them. Him and his little club. Probably more secret meetings we're not invited to. You know what? I bet Rucker doesn't even know. It's definitely not the way he does things. So Marchenko is getting a bunch of their people together for something called Operation Storm Surge. I was going to just shoot him in the head. I could do that, but let's make a distraction. The ducks have been rattling like Something's there. If it's that cat again, let's trap it. Security hub code reset. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. That's actually important. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, and I think that said something about where it was, too. Uh, tell your people patrolling to remember to look up. The cops have drones. Oh, I was thinking maybe the security hub was somewhere up. Nope. Feels like the security hub would be here. I mean, this looks like... This looks like the security hub, but... No. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, yeah, here it is. Okay. Cameras off. Turret... Off. <laughs> I need to make super certain every time I mess with turrets that I don't accidentally tick on friendly fire. Would not be much of a non-lethal run if I did that. I mean, technically I'm, I haven't been completely non-lethal since at the beginning of the game I did shoot those people in the golden masks. But I really didn't have much of a choice there. I don't think I could take them out non-lethally. Notice I just took that offline. Uh, I think I might be hearing things over. Oh, did they not hear that? Person who looks knocked out or trained it over. What? Why are they searching now? Cool. Hmm. Not sure what happened. I'm just waiting until the other one's not looking. <laughs> oh, another reset code for the security hub. Yes, yeah, so I think I've got everybody but that one person, huh? Yep. And the one person left I'd do a terrible job on. <laughs> they go to take cover behind a box, then suddenly trip and fall over. Alright. Well, I have a hell of a lot of looting to do. Wow. Let's get to work.
Checking out computers. And loot. I also have like no inventory space. Should I dump anything? No, I really don't feel like I should actually. Anything that I could get that would be useful should stack with what I already have. Missing something. Oleg, I have your pocket secretary. It had a coat on it. And was lying around where anybody could pick it up and read it. If you want it back, come see me. And be grateful I didn't drop it in a tank full of piranha fish. And there's the newsletter. It is very satisfying to just loot everything. And throw printers. That's fun too. If anyone finds my pocket secretary, please let me know. <laughs> Christ, where have I been and where have I not been? Oh, I don't have enough energy to turn off the TV. That's just sad. I know I still need to go upstairs, obviously. Oh, this is where I originally came down into this place, right? The drop. That might be all the downstairs. Maybe I've hit it all. I guess downstairs really isn't that big, is it? Gabriel, if that spineless Tibor Sokol ever makes an appearance, send him up. Victor wants to speak to him about something. Wait a minute. I saw somebody in there. Oh, so I haven't been over... Well, I can't see it on the map now. Uh, yeah, I haven't been... No, wait. Huh. I think there might be a couple people over here that I saw. But I think I'm supposed to go over this way to the elevator. Sir yeah, that's definitely where I'm supposed to go. After three long months, your package is here. It must have cost you a small fortune to smuggle it in. We can't thank you enough. I know there are a lot of people around here who need something to look forward to, and your generosity provides that. I know Milos is really looking forward to the mystery novels in particular. Oh yeah, we found that library in here. Just made me think of that. I don't know if there's any direct connection between that and this, but... Yeah, they're getting books for someone. I don't think there's too much more to get. There's no reason to take out those lasers. I'm fighting more bio cells, thank god. Inconvenient Aug, we've already read that. Yeah, we've already read that. 
think so anyway. Or something very, very similar to it. Okay, I think we've been everywhere. I already looked at this computer, right? Arc security. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I thought there was more to loot than there actually was. So we want to head this way. What is that? Is that a defense drone or something? Oh right, I already took out these people. <laughs> That's the one slumped to the computer. So I don't think we've looted here, have we? No. Uh, hi Elijah, I need you to do me a huge favor. I need you to cover for me. Cal is acting strange and I'm worried he might do something stupid. I need to go to the flats tonight to check out my sister-in-law and the kids. I'll make it up, I promise. Oh shit, is that... That's the person... Yeah, that's that place we found. Where the murder-suicide happened. Remember we saw... Um, the brother and their correspondence with, I guess, with this person? And this person was saying, like, hang in there, I'm gonna come see you as soon as I can. This is that person saying, hey, can you cover for me? I'm gonna go see him. Christ. You know what? Maybe I quit. I know you all read my updates as if your lives depended on it, but I think I'm done with being the guy who runs around all day, trying to get the computers to work in this dump, and for what? Before I go, here's one more for you. Police presence, blah, 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 all codes, blah, blah, blah. 2544. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Hi, everyone. As Victor's asked all of us to work double shifts, the mess is closed until further... Oh, we've already read this. Yeah, mess is closed. Everything will be delivered directly to you since everybody's working double shifts. still not quite sure what that is. I don't think it's a turret. Or maybe it's a turret that's been deactivated? Yeah, it's probably a turret that's been deactivated. Yeah, in fact, I think it, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, yeah, it shows up on the map. Okay. do I have more of? I've gotten more of this. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering how they'd ragdoll. Well, that's pretty elegant, actually. Not a bad, bad place to pass out. Four. A special task from Viktor Marchenko. Merrick, I enjoyed our talk last night. I know I don't have to remind you that this stays between us forward-thinking types. I love Talos, as you do. But if we don't... But, but we, if we don't, start taking an offensive stance against this oppress, oppression, we risk extinction. I have an initiative I'm starting called Storm Surge. Think of it as more of a motivational exercise. But I can't do it alone, Merrick. I need strong-minded, passionate brothers like you. I have a task I need help with. I'd like you to take a trip with me. Interested? Hey Merrick, Victor was having trouble with his OS yesterday, so I had him do a hard reboot to see if it would fix his system. He never got back to me, and I'm slammed down in the LQ today playing Code Fairy. Password is... 
Storm, oh, Storm Surge. Like a shortened version of it. Can you run over quickly and just check that he still has a desktop? Wow, so Merrick. No, wait. Yeah, Victor, yeah, so Victor Marchenko's computer password is Storm Surge. <laughs> That's a little obvious. Oh, this is Victor's computer. Sturmsurg. From Max to Victor. Sticky door. Victor, Roland asked me to come down and fix the door in your storage unit. Sticks, right? Probably has something to do with all the power issues lately, but I'll run diagnostics on the keypad just in case. It might not be talking to the actuators. I'm gonna need your code, though. No trouble at all, you're good man. Max 6889. From Red King to Old Blue Eye. Old Blue Eye is the person that was on, um, was talking to us, who they thought we were Tibor though, on Tibor's computer. We need to discuss our original agreement for the party favors I supplied to you. Turns out it's not like moving shit through, through Eastern Europe. There was more trouble than I thought. Which means I'm going to have to renegotiate my original quote. A ball's in your court, but I wouldn't wait too long. There are a lot of other people who would gladly take your shit off my hands. And for double the price. So, tick tick, my friend. Tick tock. Victor. Oh, it says from Encrypted. Everything is in order on this end for when you arrive, though we still need to discuss final numbers. We might have to lean on BH for reserves, but we can cross that bridge when we come to it. One other thing, Orlov is asking that you bring some of your friends along with you when you come. Four or five, whatever you can muster. See you in a few, di few days. Roland Gala. Yeah, so Old Blue Eye is Victor Marchenko. Huh. Orion Instant Messaging Autosave. Viteka, we need to talk. Viteka, you need to think about what I said. Tell me what you think. Viteka, you need to respond. That's an order, soldier. Okay, fine, but we can't just ignore this. The problem's not going away until we explore all our options. Please contact me soon. I'll be waiting. So, I'm um, guessing this was Marchenko, probably, trying to speak with this person called Viteka. Lost contact with him. I haven't been in these storage units, have I? Mm -mm. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. got this one. Ooh, I don't have room for an EMP grenade? <laughs> oh, it's because I already have ten of them. Well, that's fine. I don't need any more. Then again, I also don't need Beekman's Brown Ale. Grenade launcher frag grenades.
think it's the first time I've seen grenade launch or anything. Oh! I've leveled up! I've got two Praxis now! You know what that means? That is immediately going to Quicksilver Reflex Booster. Can do double takedowns on people that are close to each other. And I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to spend my next Praxis on as well. Um, my power recharge rate is extraordinarily slow, so I think I'm going to upgrade that next. This looks like a boss elevator, doesn't it? Chicane, I'm moving in on Rucker's position. You got those coordinates yet? I'll transmit them as soon as I've finished my coffee. Don't leave me hanging, Chicane. You just worry about getting our man. And be careful, he's dangerous. We'll see. I don't think Talos is dangerous, actually. I think the people around him are dangerous. Greenhouses? Oh, I can't wait to see that. That camera doesn't move, does it? Oh wait, that camera's green. It's friendly. Even though this is a whole restricted zone, all of this. This is going to start a cutscene or something, isn't it? I knew it. I'm sure you'll understand if I don't take your word for it. As the customary final request of the condemned man, please, do not kill any more of my people on your way out. Their only crime against you is their loyalty to me. You don't seem surprised to see me. I'm not. After the train station attacks, I knew it was only a matter of time before they sent someone. Please, sit. This isn't a social call, Rucker. I'm here to take you in. Our mandate is to fight for the rights of the Augmented. Communicate our message, offer assistance. The Ark is a non-violent organization. All right, then this should be easy. Come with me, answer our question. I think they just drank poison, didn't they? Also, the game seems to not be recognizing any of my actions. I'm playing this completely stealthy and completely non-lethally. I literally did not kill a single one of their people, and yet they still say, please don't kill any more of my people on the way out. I didn't kill any of their people. Also, Adam took out... And we'll have you back here. Uh, I can't bring it up, but Adam took out their uh, nano blade thing, which is an ability that I don't even have, because it's a completely lethal ability that I'll never use. Just very strange. In plenty of time to film your next sermon. I'm not a fool. If I surrender now, I'm never coming back. Once you have me, you intend to make me disappear. But I will not make Solzhenitsyn's mistake. My people and I will resist you. I thought you were a pacifist. I am. But I'm more than a leader. I am a symbol. That is why you wish to erase me. If martyrdom is the only way to remain a symbol, then even my death is preferable to my evaporation. You said you don't want any more of your people getting hurt. But if I have to bring you in by force, I will. And they're gonna try to stop me. There's a better chance of avoiding violence if you come along peacefully. You have my word. I will do everything I can to see that you are treated fairly. How dare you speak to me of peace and fairness? You assaulted innocent people to get in here and kidnap me on behalf of masters who hide in the shadows, manipulating, controlling, and murdering without the courage to proclaim their convictions in front of the rest of the world. Alpha was the one. 
You're not any different from them, Rucker. All of you rely on armed men while spouting your rhetoric from behind the safety of a camera. If you want to prove the strength of your convictions, confront your enemies face to face. Well, you seem to be more than the unquestioning brute I took you for. It is refreshing to hear that kind of passion and idealism in other people, particularly after everything I've experienced lately. I have been patient and understanding. I have taught my people non-violence and waited for the rest of the world to follow that example. I have had faith in humanity, and humanity betrayed me. Omega? You know what the weird thing about this is, though? Before I just actually choose the Omega option. The weird thing is that... I, I, I like the idea of the Social Enhancer Augment. I mean, it makes sense with all the augments you can have. It makes sense you'd have one that would allow you to analyze their facial movements and their voice intonation and all sorts of things that could give you some analysis that could help you win a conversation, basically, to make them do what you want them to do. That makes sense, but mechanically, what this actually ends up doing is I'm not even reading what these options are. I'm not saying the things that I actually personally want to say. You know, do I want to be patronizing? Do I want to justify or turn tables? I'm not even paying attention to that because I'm just choosing the right answer. That's weird. It's weird because it, it changes it from being me choosing just what I think Adam or, or what I think I should say or what I'm interested in saying or what I'm interested in seeing play, play out and just switches it to there's a right answer and two wrong answers. Follow your example. History has shown that anti-other movements always spring up in times of chaos and fear. Before deciding to become the symbol of the cause, you should have made sure you were prepared for it. I thought I was. I thought I could... God help me, someone had to do it. This is a very precarious time for the movement. These attacks are making everything worse for us. My leadership position within ARC is being threatened, and I suspect the two might even be connected. Please, go back to your people. Tell them to give me 48 hours so I can attempt to resolve the internal conflict. I'm sorry. If I go back empty-handed, I'll just be replaced. Probably by someone more eager and less sympathetic. Coming in now is honestly the best thing you can do for everyone. Yes. I suspect you are right. But can you understand this? If you were to take me from here, you would be responsible for more than my death. You would be responsible for my effacement, the ruination of the Augmented Rights Coalition, and the perversion of everything it stands for. The bottom line hasn't changed. If you come with me willingly, there won't be any violence. You now have the choice. Choose the non-violent path, or you are the one betraying the cause. I... I cannot watch any more of my people die. Not on my account. You have asked me to trust you, and so... I will. Before we leave together, there is something I must show you. I guess they didn't actually drink poison, then? I suspect there is a power struggle brewing within our organization. Some people inside Ark are less committed to our ideals. Are you trying to tell me you know who's responsible for the bombings? I have only suspicions, and until recently not even that. The evidence I have begun collecting is meager, but I give it to you. This is the key card for the security door. The evidence is inside. Why give it to me? Why not keep it, present it at your interrogation? Because if my suspicions are correct, and I am seen leaving here with you, willingly, 
I may not survive to present my evidence. Somewhere down there, hiding in plain sight, is your real terrorist. I was trying secretly to find out who is responsible. Rucker. Rucker is dead. Come again. I'll fill you in when I see you, which is where exactly? There's some greenhouses near your position. Below them is a clearing. That's where I'll be. Chicane out. Jesus Christ, I... Please. I it seems like they were poisoned, but I'm not sure. Either they were poisoned or they were infected with something i don't know but I, I i don't feel like that was them willingly killing themselves with a the poison i i think they were actually genuinely surprised and horrified and holy shit what the hell was that it must have been something specifically made to target augmented people right to have that sort of a reaction or maybe it was just them losing control on their dying throws but yeah i i don't think they intentionally killed themselves at all that was something else we saw the uh, the messages from some people, like, I don't know, some assistants to Rucker or something, talking about how they thought they drank too much and, like, I broke my bottle, so I'm asking for a replacement bottle and stuff like that. Maybe somewhere during all of that, someone poisoned it? Poisoned their whiskey? Christ. That was horrifying. Alright, um... Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here because there's obviously a lot to explore in this office. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.